So today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. We're not ultimately gonna concentrate on the performance of these Callaway Opus wedges. We are just gonna admire their beauty because honestly, these are some of the best looking golf clubs on the market right now. And in the wedge category, is there a better looking wedge? However, looks aside, there is some real interesting performance attributes that I found uh, particularly interesting for the better player, I would say. So don't go anywhere and I'll reveal my full findings on the performance of the Callaway Opus wedges. So in terms of product innovation and wedges, then there's not a great deal going on over the last couple of years. And that's why it's quite a difficult topic to to review or difficult product to review. But there is one element that seems to have improved significantly across the board and uh, very applicable to certain players when they can control it. That's not bad. And that is the spin. In the last couple of models of the Jaws wedges from Callaway, I really noticed that there's a real tight grip on the ball, some real good interaction between club face and ball and whatever it is that they've done with these grooves, then it's certainly applied back into the Opus model as well. You've seen the three chips at the beginning. If you could play a closer attention, if we can slow it down a little bit, you can see how much they grab on what are very firm greens in the height of summer. So yes, they're good looking, but of course we've got to look at their performance attributes and in terms of spin and control, it's incredibly good. Well, interestingly enough, that was a 58 wedge with 10 degrees of bounce. And uh, hopefully with that side on camera, you might have seen a little bit more of the grab um, that I referred to. What I like about the Callaway lineup of wedges is the fact that they offer so many different varieties in terms of that bounce option and loft option. You cannot get a broader range. So whatever you're looking to fit into your bag, I'm pretty certain you'll find that in this Callaway lineup. And then on that sole and the bounce options, this as I understand is the last iteration of Roger Cleveland's input into designing Callaway wedges. But I've always liked what he's done with the sole and the way it's chamfered and the way it's shaped, both in and around the heel and toe area, but also that leading edge. And again, it very much depends on what suits your eye, particularly at that sort of address position but they've always had great shaping, great profile, and that ability to just, uh, whether you wanna open the club face up or lean on it a little bit, it never really is off-putting because they've done it in a way that it always seems to sit nice at the back of the ball. So I don't know where they go next, but Roger Cleveland did an incredibly good job in, uh, in his time producing wedges for Callaway. A little tad kick in a bit. Good distance control and still we're not exactly in the rough, but we're nestled though. We're sitting down a little bit and that has just literally grabbed and stopped. There's two models within the lineup. There's the Opus Standard and Opus Platinum, uh, which visibly contains a little bit of tungsten. All of a sudden the price is hiked up and there's some incredibly good looking milling on the back of the golf club and uh, a few other extra bits as well but effectively it's that tungsten waiting in there that's the difference between the two and why you're going to pay a little bit more money these are incredibly expensive wedges i think all clubs are nowadays but you've got to ask yourself maybe why and any justification and in this case i would suggest that by being forged straight away there is a premium price tag attached but for me this is a thing that i've never understood with people who make wedges and they're not forging them. I don't get it because it's the elements of the game where you want the most feel for my mind. And I don't care what distance I'm playing from, full shot or in and around the greens. I love forged wedges because I love the feedback I get into the hands. So the process is incredibly arduous and it comes at an expense, but you've got to understand if you want forged wedges, you're going to pay forged prices. And although there'll never be a justification for the price hikes that are going on right now, I fully appreciate why that wedge is pitched in at where it is. I like that, pitched in where it is. Right, I'm gonna try one more. They're just so good. 
so good. As I said at the beginning of the video, wedge videos are very hard to put together and make them interesting. So uh, it's not the most exciting. I've not even provided dry ball data because ultimately I don't need to. I mean, these things are gonna do pretty much what, the, uh, what you've seen out here, which is for me always the real sort of performance that we wanna see. And they performed incredibly well. In an average golfer's hands, they come at a premium price, like I said, but uh, if you want new wedges and uh, you're prepared to pay the price, then arguably the Callaway Opus are certainly one of the best that I have tried. That's the biggest endorsement I can give. I've loved hitting them. As much as I uh, struggle to make the video interesting, I could hit these things all day long. They are delightful to look at and to play. Right, I won't bore you any longer. I'll see you next week.